It's your live on Joe News today with me, Daniel Daz. A lot more coming up here in the bulletin, but we just concluded a conversation with our court correspondent, Joseph Akable. Now, 20 NDC minority MPs, including their leader, Haruna Idrisu, charged, have been charged in court over their march to the Electoral Commission ahead of um, the Electoral Commission head office, pardon me, on 22nd December 2020. Now, they have failed to show up in court now, when the case was called. In Accra Circuit Court 11, the police prosecutor indicated his readiness to proceed, but the Circuit Court judge was forced to adjourn the case without a new set date because none of the accused persons or their lawyers were in court. The NDC MPs walked from Parliament House to the EC head office and broke through a police barricade to present a petition to the EC. The petition demanded a collation of the 2020 Tishman South parliamentary election results. The police in a statement for, of offence accused the minority MPs of failing to notify the police before holding a special event contrary to sections 1, 2 and 9 of the Public Order Act. The police have also charged them with unlawful assembly contrary to section 202 of the Criminal Offences Act. My colleague, Kweku Asante, was in court and has joined us live with more. Kweku, what happened in court today? Daniel, so when the case was called today, it was expected that the 20 minority MPs, including their leader, Haruna Idrisu, to be present to answer the charges that have been leveled against them by the Ghana Police Service. Of course, this was, we were expecting that the minority MPs would claim that they are not guilty and also appeal for or apply for bail. But that was not to be as over an hour when the court starts. None of the minority MPs or their lawyers were present in court. And so it has to be that the report, this was such a thing that both parties or both sides had to be in court for this preliminary hearing. The court could not have proceeded without the involvement or the participation of the minority, minority MPs or their lawyers. And so the court had to adjourn to a day that has not been set yet so that we could reconcile why the minority MPs have not been present and whether or not they will be carried. Of course, there are other people who have raised issues of contempt of court, possible con contempt of court because. The minority MPs have been served with someone, but they failed to appear in court. Now, the, the police prosecution indicates if they had any correspondence with the NPs as to whether or not they would appear in court. Right. And that was one issue that came up. The police prosecution also had no idea at all, at, at least officially, that the minority MPs were not going to come. But of course, yeah, just, just today, Ras, uh, or last week actually, Ras Uber and the member of parliament for who moved on 20, had actually indicated that his colleagues, the 20 minority MPs who are in charge, were not going to appear before the court because the, the, the CID has not officially written to the, uh, to the Speaker of Parliament to seek leave so that afterward they can be released to go and attend to this, this issue in court. And that currently, they are currently in Parliament serving their constituents and dealing with legislative matters. And so officially, the police CID or the police prosecution in court did not have any idea that officially these minority MPs when thank you very much for bringing us those details from court Kriku is our correspondent in the newsroom